It is exhausting just thinking about all the content that we have to create as online business owners, right? If you relate and you're looking for ways to save time with this, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to repurpose your videos into three main types of written content in just minutes. Hi, my name is Samantha. Welcome to my channel. I am all about helping you save time and mental energy in your online business. If that's what you're looking for, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss a helpful video like this. Okay, if you're ready to see how I repurpose my YouTube videos into those three main types of written content, let's get started. Okay, so the first form of content that I am going to repurpose my YouTube video to is for a blog post. By the way, I only have I only use the free version of ChatGPT, so you do not need the paid version in order to do what I'm going to show you today. But the first thing I'm going to do is to type this in. So I'm going to tell it that below I'm going to paste a transcript from a YouTube video I made. I'm asking it to please create a blog post keeping my voice and tone from the transcript. So then I'm going to ask it to use any subtitles where applicable to break up the post and make it easier for the reader to read. And then I'm going to clarify that since it is for a blog post, I want anything removed about it being a video. So in the video, I will be like, in this video, I want ChatGPT to not reference any of those words. So then I'm going to hit shift enter two times, because if you hit enter, it will just send it off to ChatGPT. Then I'm going to go to YouTube, go to my channel studio, click on the video that I'm working on. I'm going to scroll down to subtitles and click that and then edit as text. And then I'm going to, I'm hitting control A here to highlight the entire text. And then I'm going to copy it and then back to chat GPT. And I'm just going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to hit enter. You can also hit send here, but I'm going to hit enter. And then chat GPT will get to work in creating my blog post. Okay, so sometimes this will happen in chat GPT and it won't complete the blog post or whatever you asked it to do. I don't know um, why. I will just type, please continue where you left off. And then ChatGPT will just continue. Okay, so now you can see it came up with quite a lengthy, actually, blog post. Doesn't usually create this long. It must have been a long video, I guess. But it has all the details in there. It has it separated with subtitles. It has numbered points. It has... It laid out just like someone would write an actual blog post, which is just so great. And you see that just happened in seconds. It saves so much time. So obviously I'm going to go through here and edit anything and make sure it all makes sense. But it is a pretty much all done and I just have to put it on my website in the form of a blog. So the next piece of content that I'm going to show you is for an email newsletter. So each week I send out an email newsletter telling people about my YouTube video, but also giving them a bit more than that and kind of giving some bullet points of what I talk about in each video and just a bit of a summary about it. So here is what I type into chat GPT in order to get it to create that weekly newsletter for me. So I would type in using the above content, please create an email to my subscribers with a brief intro and why to watch the video and bullet points about main topics covered. So I will send that off to chat GPT and chat GPT creates my entire newsletter for me. You'll see it provides a little little intro. It gives some bullet points of what I cover in the video and then some more things down here, asking people to watch the video, telling them how good it is to watch and thanking them for being a subscriber and so many things. And it's just perfect. Of course, I'm going to go in and change that to be my own words, but I love what it got started for me and it just saves so much time. Again, huge, huge time saver. So the next piece of content, the last piece of content I'm going to show you is how to create social media posts from your YouTube video using ChatGPT. Okay, so for this, I am specifically creating for Instagram. That is my main social media platform that I like to use. So I will ask ChatGPT to now please take the above and turn it into multiple standalone Instagram posts using the information above not for the purposes of promoting the video. I added this in here at the end because previously I found that it was creating me Instagram posts that were advertising my video and directing people to go watch it, but that is not what I am looking forward to do. 
I want valuable standalone Instagram posts that just have this information in it. So I also started adding each post should provide value on its own. Please keep the overall tone and voice from the transcript. I found it really helpful to add these in just to make sure that it does keep my voice and take words from my transcript. Okay, so now that I have told it exactly what to do, I am going to send it off to ChatGPT and it will get to work creating a few Instagram posts for me. All right, so there you have it. It created six Instagram posts for me. They are quite short, so if I wanted them to be a bit longer, I could ask ChatGPT to lengthen the captions. I can also ask ChatGPT to suggest graphics to go along with these posts. You can really ask it to do anything you need it to do to make the posts or the information it gives you better. But isn't that just amazing? ChatGPT can save you so much time with the right prompts. Okay, I just wanted to say one more thing. Just know that it is important that you don't just copy and paste right from ChatGPT without making sure that it makes sense, making sure that it's your own words, making sure that the information is accurate and correct. So you want to make sure to go through and proofread and make any necessary changes every time that you use ChatGPT. In this case, it is pulling from your transcript, so hopefully it is going to be in your words and in your voice, but especially if it's not and you're using it for other purposes, you definitely want to make those changes to make sure that it is coming from you and it's the information that you want to say and make sure that it's representing the the voice and and who you are okay i hope so much that that was helpful please let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see that are like this that would help save you time and mental energy i'm happy to help you by providing more content if you found this video helpful i would appreciate it if you liked this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any videos like this thanks for watching i will see you next week